Hey guys, we're back to Canada Built Products today. I'm here with Bailey again, uh, my fiance now, not girlfriend. They're awesome. So we're gonna do a top five mods on this car. Top five best mods, because we did a top five worst mods and you guys really enjoyed that. And um, she was in it. So I figured get her in again except best mods. So you can see what I think's good and um, you might be surprised, might not be. And we're gonna start with, as number one, the paint job. All right, so um, Bailey's gonna tell us why we ended up with the Sandy Four. Um, so we're in Queensland, right? And um, we were like at this market, Yumundi Market, if anyone knows it. And um, I was thinking uh, like red is kind of an ugly colour. It's like, fine, it's fine. It's good. Red is a good colour, okay? But I saw a trooper go past that was Danny Tobe and I was like, wow, that looks really nice and that would look good for photos. And so I spent the whole day trying to convince Matt to paint a Sandy Tope, not knowing how much it was. But yeah, and then he was convinced, and then he told me how much it was, and then I was trying to convince him not to spray it. But there we go. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, you probably would have seen the paint video, but it's quite expensive. Like to do it properly, it was about four and a half grand. Um, I don't want to pay that, so I did it for $800. So um, it's very expensive, but because we got the low price, we went for it, and I, I like it still to this day. The red is nice when you open the door, you get the the flashbacks, that's awesome, but it's what we're going with and I really like it. And like, it just, I think it just looks more classic, I guess, and like looks more yeah. Toyota, because like red, not many Toyotas are red, but a lot of like the troopies and the full drives are like yeah, the nicer. Yeah, the old like, cars, FKs. Yeah, they're more like a semi-tone. Yeah, 100%. Well, that's a very valid reason why I went for it, and yeah, more classy over red. And uh, because enough. his girlfriend comes Onto the second best mod on this car. All right, guys, onto the second best mod. Now, surprise, surprise, lift and tires, huge improvement off road. Everyone knows this Australia wide. Now, the reason I'm putting these two both in one category because I want to have more slots for my selection. Now, these bad boys are huge. They're a bit like biggest tires you can go legally without absolutely extensive engineering. Now, these are obviously 35s. Now, ever since I've put all the sound deadening in, the noise from the mighties has cancelled each other out, so it's actually not even that loud or bad or whatever. Now, I am getting a brand new set of these in like two weeks um, of the top of the range mud terrain coopers. So this will be awesome. And the lift as well, can't stress enough. I can now keep up with the big patrols and 83's land cruisers on camps with four inch lifts because I've got these big tires on the big lifts. So definitely a massive major mod, really happy I went with that one and obviously it looks awesome. So that is number two. Now, I'm gonna go into number three, which is the Ingle Fridge. All right, we're on to the third mod, which is the uh, Ingle Fridge, and um, Bailey's gonna let us know what she thinks about it or features of it and why it's good. Um, okay, so I don't know that much about it, but it's been really good, really handy. Like, it's got heaps of space. I know, like, a couple of my friends have fridges and they've been a bit smaller and when we've gone on trips they haven't been as good and um oh and it was well my favorite feature of this one is um a lot of the other fridges they have like little space like awkward little space above it like it mm. like curves around like and the it's wake like, hose and stuff yeah and then you like put stuff there and it falls and it's just like it mm. doesn't work um and um i don't know it's just Good. Is, it, is, is, it good, is it good height to access? Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> it's like so much taller than you. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so I should probably get a drop down slide. But, yeah. um, but they're like, what, 1500 bucks? So, um, no thanks. Yeah. And like, <clears> it's a pretty decent investment. Like, we're looking at like actual mm. house fridges, and this fridge was like the same mm. price as like a big. Nice mm. new fridge yeah. from Harvey Norman. So it's like twelve fifty roughly. Oh, that was on special as well. So yeah, they're very expensive. Is what we're getting at, and this will last thirty years. So mm. yes, I got it when I was twenty one, but it's actually even if I didn't use it now, it's meant for future camping trips, like big two week trips, or which is happening anyways, or like if you have a family or something. So yeah, that's a really good investment, and um, that's why it's on the custom fridge slide because I was trying to fit it within the battery in the drawers um, and on a budget. I'm not rich, I'm not gonna blow like five grand back here. So, um, but yeah, that's a bit of a, you know, opinion from you, which is good, like not like a mm. full driver opinion. Like, I reckon the fridge slide is really good as well, because- At least like, you can you stand on there or whatever, or kneel on there and yeah. get in there like that. And like, but I'll, I'll just get in like that, but if you really need to, you can um, mm. step on there. One of my pet peeves, like 
back in the day camping would be when you're trying to open it and it opens like this much and you have to like stick your head inside of it and like try and find what you need but now you can like open it all up yeah. which is great you know a lot further now but yeah so that's definitely the third best mod and i've, I've used that at work a lot when i'm like if you need a drink or something it's a hot day i can get a cool beverage it doesn't have to be water it can be whatever you want um, so that's a bit of a luxury to have over the other boys. I'm a bit jealous of me always trying to get drinks out of my fridge. I charge them. I'm going to be stingy. So, um, but yeah, so that's definitely the third best mods. Now we're going to the fourth one, which will be the LED glows at the front. All right, guys. So we're at the front of the car now. Now you're probably thinking LED globes. What are you on about? So in here, I've got these little, I think it was $15 from eBay and they're literally just the little LED globes. And you take out the halogen yellow ones that are like candles, they're crap. And you put these ones in, and you put one in each side. And pretty much when these turn on, it's more of a blue white light. And they're just so much more powerful. You can see so much on the road. You almost don't need spotties when you've got these on. These obviously help for country roads in the wide range. But if you're really on a budget, you could just get the globes and you're done. And for $15, I mean, who can complain? So um, I've thought about those before in other videos, but I just thought it was worth mentioning. For, for price to value, like instead of spending hundreds of spotties, like hundreds of dollars on spotties, you can just spend $15 and just get a little globe for each side. And it, like the light out of them is just ridiculous. So can't stress enough guys, if you're looking to get really budget cheap lighting, just look up your car, look at the plug on the back, it should have three uh, prongs on the back, and you can get these little globes. They're tiny $15, life changing, because they sell them on like Steedy and like Kings, but they're more like $100 to $50. So they're sort of like overpricing it a lot. And it's the same with Super Cheap Auto, it's like $30, $40. If you go on eBay, guys, $15. So really thought that was a good one to mention. And that is the fourth most valuable mod on this car. All right, guys, so for my fifth mod, I selected the drawers. Now, I've said it before, I'll say it again. If I didn't get these drawers for free off Facebook Market, I would probably have a Mitsubishi Tryon right now. Now, I know that's crazy, and no offense to anyone out there, but I'm very happy I found these, and free. I mean, come on, even you guys know this is ridiculous. I mean, free? I mean, look at this, it's free. So, um, as you can see, you guys should know it by now, but you know, you always have, push them down. These are more for show, you, you actually end up opening them with these half the time, um, but they, they look nice or whatever. And obviously, because it's custom made, it's quite deep, which means I can get heaps of, like, I can get a lot more stuff in it than the King's drawers would only be about that deep, so this is really handy to put circuits in and more um, like tool stuff, which is good for work. Um, and also we've used these on countless camping trips, um, but this all comes out and we'll put food in there for the week, um, same with the top one. So it really just depends how you want to use them. So obviously I've got like these two and it also came with all the materials for the fridge slide which I've like modified, but theoretically this is all part of the drawers as well, which we've just talked about. And then obviously, I made this really funny looking raised thing so I could go over the wheel arches. But this drawer I did make, and that's also just handy to put more stuff in. So really, it's just all about moving around and getting a lot of things in here very efficiently. So um, I'm super happy with it. Um, I love it a lot. And I can't fault it really, it's free. So like, if I didn't have this, I'd have a Ute right now. So um, drawers definitely are on the list and they're my number five choice for best mods on this car. Alright, what's up gamers? That is the end of the video. Now, barely anything you want to add on top of that or anything. Do you really call them gamers? Yep, <laughs> good idea. So, that's the end of the video guys. That's top five best mods on my Prado. I hope you found it interesting. Hopefully there was something on here you didn't expect, like the LED globes. Um, most of the mods I said were quite expensive. I mean, drawers are free, but tyres and lift and paint job, or you're really making the money there. So, um, hope that was interesting and you might see a about another video coming soon um but yeah i'll show heaps of support guys and um we're going to get those big pies on soon that'll be a big video and um just stay tuned for more content to come around cool. and we'll see you guys in the next video have a good day